Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Brittany and today we are going to be making my immunity booster green juice and I'm super excited to film this video for you guys because I have been feeling a little stuffed up. The weather's been changing. It's been crazy here in the Pacific Northwest. Cords are running, colds are running amok. And so I really wanted to take a chance to show y'all what I do when I'm feeling kind of under the weather and how I boost my immunities, give my body a nice jolt of vitamin C and all of the antioxidants that it needs to fight the cold. So I've got all of my fruits and veggies that I'm gonna be using here today along with my Jack Lane Power Express juicer. Let's get on into this. <music> All right guys, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is gather all of your produce. I've got three navel oranges, three lemons, three green apples, a stalk of celery, two cucumbers, three large carrots there, and I also have a large piece of ginger. I'm not gonna be using that whole thing, but you're just gonna wanna start by dicing your veggies up, cutting off the ends, and getting them all prepared for the juicer. You are gonna want to leave the skin on as much as possible, so I don't take all of that white stuff off of the oranges, and I also don't take the skin off of the apple or the cucumbers. I do peel the carrots just roughly, and then I also peel the ginger as well, just because the ginger peel is meant to be peeled, um, but I don't chop it up or anything, and I literally do put in about two inches of that. And then you're just gonna want to throw everything into your juicer. I have this Jack Lane juicer that I got at the thrift store, guys, for, I'm not even kidding, $5, and this has done me so well. So before you go out and spend your money on a brand new juicer, because they are really expensive, check your local thrift stores, um, like, your value villages or you know whatever thrift stores you have in your area to see if they have juicers because a lot of times people will get these kinds of appliances and then realize they're not using them and then just donate them so you can get them at a discounted price the hardest part about juicing honestly for this juicer is the spinach and greens but I do make sure that I use this nut milk bag here and I'll have the nut milk bags that I use listed down below in the description box for you guys and I just put them through the nut milk bag to get rid of the extra foamy bits on top and I pour them into these glass made containers and they last like this for about a week or so but I usually drink them you know this is three bottles here so this is going to last me three days and I'm going to knock this cold out so I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye